hello guys welcome to yet another video from let's trade community if you are new here you are highly welcome to our amazing um community you might want to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon okay? and if you are already subscribed once again i want to say a big thank you to all of you guys you guys are amazing you are the reason why um, yeah, so without further ado, let's dive into the business of the day. So there was a poll we ran on our Telegram channel where uh, I was like, I was going to show you my thought process on what made me take these two trades that I took, which is AUD USD, sorry, Euro USD and the USD JPY. It was a very, very huge trade because um price actually moved for over 200 pips i'm talking about for the euro usd now price actually moved for over 200 pips within a short period of time and that is amazing at least for somebody like me that i manage significant amount of money for investors and prop firms okay so which means i've made significant amount of money this yesterday's trade alone has made me almost 30 percent in one day i mean that is amazing almost 30 percent of your trading account in one day that is massive that is huge so this is the screenshot of the profit as you can see on euro usd yesterday i closed at 21 thousand six hundred dollars and for the usd jpy closed for 4k they would have gone more bet i mean this profit is already more than enough right so on the channel i actually posted this setup before it played out i'm starting with the usd jpy actually posted this setup before it actually played out as you can see this is the one hour chart on the usd jpy and this is the 15 minutes chart on the usd jpy right now i want to show you my thought process why did i make a decision to actually place this trade now it is obvious that from here to here let me map it out so that you can see let me map it out nicely so you can see clearly from here all the way to the top here it's obvious that we are in an uptrend right and according to my rule is not smart buying in an uptrend right and also vice versa that is it's not smart selling rather in an uptrend or buying in a downtrend right now <clears throat> why did i actually make this decision to actually sell usd jpy right before the news because i didn't trade i didn't sell during the news i actually sold before the news now if you look left we are actually on the monthly time frame and if you look left you can see that price has rejected this zone before I mean, when you are plotting your support or resistance level, you want to first capture the body before the weeks, right? Now, the body is where the bulk of price action actually took place, right? So, if as you can see, price, the, the we have two bodies touching this zone here. If I should zoom in so you can see clearly, right? So, you can see, we, which means between these bodies was where what? price action took place this is just a reaction of where price had been before it came down and closed below this resistance here right now let's go back to where price is at the moment let me zoom out a bit now in one of our youtube videos maybe from last week or last two weeks i actually predicted usd jpy coming into this zone i didn't know it was going to happen so soon actually thank god for the news that served as a catalyst to actually push price upward and fast to our target so when we got to this zone our price started reacting right and uh let me scale down to a lower time frame let me go to daily so we started seeing reactions okay let me go ahead and just limit this to the lower time frames um, all right so as you can see price had reacted here before right and it bounced off came down here remember this is a daily time frame so any move from here to here is pretty significant on a smaller time frame right so i saw that rejection and i spoke to myself this is a good opportunity because looking left on the monthly time frame right price had rejected this place significantly in fact that was where that was what pushed price downward for all those years before we came back into this zone that previous zone actually pushed price downward right 
before we reversed back up so which means price had reacted there significantly in the past let me go back there so that you see this is where i'm talking about so price reject rejected that zone significantly before many years ago let me go ahead and delete this okay so price pushed down so it's normal to expect price to also reject this zone even if not significantly yet at least for a little bit so what did i do i now scale down to my lower time frame i went to the one hour time frame which was the chart i shared in the group which was the chart let me zoom in so you can see so if as you can see here i shared the one hour chart and the 15 minutes chart right let me go ahead and delete this so i went to the one hour chart and um i saw some kind of rejection around this zone which proved that okay price is reacting to that monthly level right so i spoke to myself okay price has pushed down and we have reversed again with pullback so what did i do remember price moves price respect market structure okay here's my tool okay remember i always tell you how market moves making higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows right in a bullish scenario and in a bearish scenario low high low lower low lower highs in that manner right so what did i discover here i now realize that price has rejected this zone pushed all the way down to this zone and did what gave us some kind of a pullback and it has started bouncing off so at this point i said okay i can actually catch this trade the first thing i did was to plot my fibonacci retracement level so the first thing i did was to plot my fibonacci retracement level from the swing high to the swing low then price has come into our 0 0.5 fib level which is a strong level for me and we've started bouncing off i now felt like okay this is a good opportunity to catch a short sell right so with this in mind i scaled i plotted another thing here. then what did i do again i added a support a minor support and resistance level here so now let me go ahead and delete the fibonacci retracement level since we know we are in a major zone in a key zone on the fibonacci retracement level so now we have two confluences which is a break of support right and resistance why is this place a support because price has tested it multiple times in the past price tested it here one broke above it tested it here too so which makes it an interesting zone and when price broke below it and came back into it what happened we had some kind of rejection so when i confirm this i knew we're in an uptrend and i was not going to sell for too long so what did i do i went to the 15 minutes time frame so coming into the 15 minutes time frame i now saw my pattern remember from the monthly time frame we are at a major level which is being rejected uh on the one hour time frame we've come into our 0 0.5 fibonacci retracement level and we have a minor support that has been broken and retested right now coming to the 15 minutes time frame i wanted to look for opportunities and what did i do i drew my counter trend line like this right when i drew my counter trend line price was actually around here going up so that was why i drew this counter trend line as i shared in the group that okay after the retest i will sell right i will sell and i put my stop loss above here i was going to put it here but i wanted to catch that pips okay this is actually the best place to keep it if you ask me this is actually the best place to put your stop loss but because i, I was interested in just short trades i was willing to take that risk so i put my what um stop loss above here so why did i plot this trend line like this price has come into this area of interest from the one hour time frame now on the 15 minute time frame i made sure i captured this touch this touch and this touch to draw a perfect trend line you have to do a plot to swing low right in a bullish scenario sorry two higher highs rather in a bullish scenario and two 
lower highs in a bearish scenario. Now, in this, we are, since it's in the bullish scenario, I plotted this, I captured these two first and projected into the future, which captured the third one and the break and the retest, right? So after I got the retest, what did I do? I waited for some bearish price action, which I got here on the 15 minutes time frame, and that was where I sold, okay? So where I took profit, you can go to the Telegram channel, you see where I took profit there, right? And I got a nice um, one ratio, 1.64 risk to reward ratio, right? Which is very, very okay before the news came out and market went berserk, right? Let's go to the Euro USD. On the Euro USD, remember I posted this shortly before the news. I want to show you why I bought actually did all this long write up now this is the euro usd chart as you can see and we are on the daily time frame right as you can see here and we're on the daily time frame now the cpi was to come out and i looked at it and i looked at my technical analysis remember i dropped a video before about having a technical reason to actually trade fundamentals okay trading fundamentals blindly can get you bonds okay you still need technical analysis and that's why personally i prefer technical analysis and that's why i'm more of a technical analysis trader than a fundamental analysis trader right now when i posted this in the group let me quickly read it again <clears throat> if the high impact consumer price index news comes out positive euro usd is the pair i'll be looking for selling opportunities on i already knew i was looking for selling opportunities i was i wasn't interested to buy why let me show you why quickly before i continue reading or let me continue reading it's like i wrote here market structure is super bearish on the daily time frame with price creating consistent lower lows and lower highs low lower low lower low lower low lower low high lower high lower high lower high now we are creating a new lower high so you can see market structure market structure very important i always say, talk about market structure so market structure is super bearish creating lower lows and lower highs so why won't i be looking for sales why won't i be looking for sales so i'll be looking for sales below the one hour trend line and support let's go to the one hour time frame now so this is our one hour chart on as i posted on the word telegram and of course at the background i've switched to the one hour chart as you can see here one hour time frame anyways when i posted this on the uh, telegram channel yesterday price was still around here as you can see price was still around here which was around here i never expected price to run back into this um, remember this is the daily trend line okay that from the daily time frame you saw a trend line right so this is the daily trend line here this is not for the one hour that is why i see it's rolled into infinity that you cannot really spot on the one hour time frame right now so this was the daily this is the daily time um trend line so price was around here when i posted this right i never knew price was going to run back into the daily trend line okay so that was why i was of the opinion that okay i would wait because i don't want to sell in no man's land price might decide to go and touch the daily trend line before pushing below or even actually breaking it to sell above uh, to buy above it right so i never knew price was going to run into the trend line before dropping okay and that was why i posted this analysis the way i did for the one hour time frame analysis that i was going to sell when price breaks below here and i'll take i'll be looking for take profit targets around here i never knew that price was going to go back into the daily trend line but before the news i discovered that price went into the daily trend line price went into a daily trend line but before i talk about why i took the trade on the telegram channel i put i will be looking for sales below the one hour trend line and support support trend line but if that doesn't happen if price does break above the daily trend line we might be we might be in for a potential trend reversal so at that point we will start looking for what setups to buy that's after we break above the daily trend line right trading is simple we are the ones that complicates things so let's keep it simple guys and that was exactly what i did i kept it simple so like i said i never knew price was going to come into the daily trend line but bef shortly before the news i discovered that price came into the daily trend line again if i go to the daily time frame you see it from the daily time frame and now we are seeing it on the one hour time frame and when i saw this i said to myself when i finally got this 
selling what this sell one hour candlestick the nature of the candlestick number one looks like a dodgy and at the same time looks like a what an inverted hammer i like to call it inverted hammer some people call it is a spinning top i like to call it inverted hammer it's easier for me but it's spinning top so when i got this spinning top shortly before the news i said to myself this is a potential what selling trade why is this why this why didn't it happen all around this place why did he come here and print such a candle could this be the market trying to talk to me then what did i do i plotted my resistance above and i decided to take the trade immediately right with the hope that i was going to take profit around here okay and i even used minimal what risk right so what did i do i placed the trade at the close of this candlestick and i placed my stop loss above here okay and what happened when the news came out i didn't even know i wasn't on my system i came like three minutes late to find what was happening boom we're trading below the trend line right and i would have loved to add to my trade since i used minimal risk but the size of this candlestick man i it was to be two this, my stop loss my risk to reward ratio would be would be would be would be a disaster so that was why i was hoping we'll get a retracement from here but since we didn't get it it's fine and good i already made money all the way to the downside so this was how this was my mindset this was my thought process um before placing these trades on the usd jpy and the euro usd okay so if you have any questions if you have any suggestion if you like what you've just watched on this video if you've learned what learned something from this video kindly smash the subscribe button and leave us a comment if you have any suggestion and also you want to um turn on the notification icon because we drop weekly um forex outlook from time to time every weekend on sundays in the evening so you might want to also subscribe to the telegram channel so that you can see any updates that i post from time to time so with this we've come to an end of this video take it easy guys one love peace out bye